One metal I've been talking about for a while is palladium. I know nobody out there actually talks about it because they say it's not money, but neither is silver, <laughs> if you really think about it. Neither is silver. It's just an important industrial metal. Hasn't been used as money in a long time. Um, but one thing I've been noticing about palladium is that it's been given a more of an exalted marketing campaign in the last, I don't know, dozen or so years. Uh, you'll see a lot of fashion out there uh, talking about palladium, palladium boots, palladium in um, entertainment, clubs, or even if they use a color, if it's not silver, they'll call it palladium silver. In other words, it's more of an exalted noble metal. Um, at one point in time, palladium actually in the 1800s, it was more expensive than platinum, more expensive than gold. And one time back in 2001, also it was almost four, it was about four times more expensive than gold. It was about $1,175. That's always the mystery. What are they going to do with the Russian stockpiles? You never know. You never know. Back on November, around mid-November of 2011, the Russian stockpiles, after being rumored that they were near low, they were low. They dumped a record amount of palladium on the market and drove the prices down. And uh, even though 2011 had a record year, so far 2011, 2012 is actually having a record year. But I want to point out that even um, UBS, Union Bank Switzerland, forecasts for palladium and platinum have been raised for 2012. This is actually from last month mid-May article, but um, information. Palladium is to have a shortage of 714,000 ounces for 2012. Uh, there's over 8 million ounces used worldwide globally. And most of that usage for palladium is in um, uh, North America, you know, Canada, U.S., Japan, and Europe. The vast majority of it. So, uh, you know, all the arguments for silver they're there for palladium except for the long-term usage as money back in the ancient world because palladium was just discovered, I believe it was in 1805. Uh, UBS also raised the forecast price for palladium for $725 per ounce to $760 per ounce. And you know, that can change radically. QE is the whole thing that's going to change these metals, all of them, all of them. Also, UBS raised their forecast for platinum from 1675 an ounce to 1700 an ounce. So, um, there's a lot of fundamentals out there for palladium. Now, um, the other thing is, like I stated, most of the demand is actually in real usage. It's not so much, you know, silver you talk, there's a lot of heavy industrial demand, gold sits in vaults. Well, as far as palladium goes, palladium is really used heavily in industrial demand, and there's a lot more new uses coming out for it. As Stillwater's motto is, uh, it's the metal for the 21st century. This is a metal that is an extremely vital catalyst for green technology, for one. And um, there's a number of different things they're coming out with, but the thing is, industry is so indispensable. I mean, palladium is so indispensable for industry, it could be said more for palladium that in regards to that than silver. And, you know, that's what the silver crowd likes to tout. You know, they like to tout that, oh, silver is, um, you know, you have to have it. You can't you go without it, whatever. It's impossible. It's used in so many different industries. Well, in the case of palladium, it's the same way. It's the same way. And it's a hell of a lot more rare. It's, you know, by some estimates, or the spiel is, that's 30 times more rare than gold. But, you know, the other thing I actually talk, think about with palladium is that it's really only mined in a couple locations. you got 43% of the world supply coming from Russia, of which most of that comes from one mine in, north, in northern Siberia. And the rest of the most of the world supply comes from South Africa, two very unstable regions. So you could see very easily a price spike in this metal. And, you know, if there was a big campaign out there for um, buy palladium, buy palladium, and, a, and um, a million people bought one ounce, 
you're talking about a shortage of 714,000 ounces. And if a million people in the United States bought one ounce of palladium, it would drive the price up well over $1,000 an ounce easily. Easily. So, you know, <laughs> I don't understand why these uh, pump and dumpers aren't on this campaign because you can really move the market in this pretty easily. And Russia did make coins. This is a coin from uh, not that long ago. I think it's a couple of decades ago. Uh, 19, well, yeah, 1993. It's a 25 ruble piece with palladium. And palladium actually was, they actually coined money in palladium back um, in the 1800s too. So they got some kind of tradition with coins. But most of the palladium comes from Russia. So go figure. Uh, I want to go on something. Yeah, and I know today palladium actually took the biggest hit of all the metals. Of all the metals even though fundamentally it should be going up it should be going up the demands up there's gonna be shortages and um, you know you can't say JP Morgan's manipulating the market they're uh, they got a short position on palladium and they you know just like they, the spiel is what they say with silver you know they inherited their short position from uh, spare Stearns well I don't know. Well, you know, if you look at everything, everything's going down. And, you know, you can believe that everything electronically is rigged. But, you know, if everything electronically is rigged, um, you're screwed. How's that? You're screwed. I don't think it is all that rigged. That's the thing. Um, I want to look at something else with copper. Copper prices have been going down the last, um, you know, month or so. But I also want to point out, if you look at what the warehouse stock levels are, they've also been going down. They've been going up a little bit recently, but the stock levels, the stockpiles of copper have been going down. So, you know, China might be buying this stuff up. I would imagine they are. But at one point in time, all this stuff is going to spring back pretty hard. I don't think it's just going to be a matter of QE. Um, but like I stated before, like if you look at what happened in um, 2011 to the first two months of 2012, from December 28, 2011 to, to uh, February 27, 2012, you look how fast the prices of gold and silver sprung back. Very fast, very fast. And that was just upon the expectation of QE. So things can change rapidly, but I'm not buying anything else right now because... I still feel that there's still a little more of a downturn. I don't think there's going to be anything like with um, $15 silver or even $20 silver. I don't think it's going to get that low. But, um, you know, that's it's difficult to say. But I, I don't think it will because I think there will be other things that will cause them to act and uh, force them to go to QE versus uh, just sit and let everything go stagnant in the markets because... Uh, there's a lot of other things going on besides, um, you know, what's in the metals markets, but they have a lot of bond sales coming up in Europe. They're going to have to turn over their debt, and if they're not going to be able to turn over their debt, there's going to be a lot of problems right there, and they're going to need the money injected into the system. In other words, somebody's going to have to buy the bonds, and maybe it's going to be the central banks themselves. So, QE, right? So, uh, I think that's going to be coming down a pike pretty soon. So, Metals prices could be very explosive this year, unexpectedly. I think the one way you could tell that's going to happen is is when all the silver pump and dumpers are keep their mouth shut and are permanently pretty much shut up because basically they're the big jinx on the damn thing. I really get mad at them sometimes because um, when Ben Bernanke is doing QE and they're calling him an idiot, um... We need to keep our mouth shut and let him do his job, and the metals are going to go way the hell up. That is the main reason the metals are going up. It's quantitative easing. It's causing a lot of people to pour into silver, gold, and I think palladium is going to be the biggest winner when QE gets announced. I think palladium is going to outperform silver. I'm pretty sure of it. So, you know, they're talking like UBS is talking about 700 sixty dollars an ounce or something like that i think it's going to hit an all-time high no problem that's what i think that depends on what ben bernanke does but you know if people quit criticizing him he'll do it 
He'll do it. If you're holding the medals, you're in the right place.